Welcome to the Believer's Voice of Victory from Kenneth Copeland Ministries. Download the notes at kcm.org slash notes. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Believer's Voice of Victory. I'm Gloria Copeland, and Pastor George is back with us, and he's got his guns loaded. I mean, we've got some good word. Don't miss it. Welcome, George. Our, our guns stay loaded around they here. Do, I'll tell you, you just can't help but get excited about we the love word. We the word. We really do. I mean, this is this is a word-loving, mm. God-fearing, victory, re- victory family, <laughs> church, ministry, Amen. and <clears throat> the Lord is so good to us, and He's good to you. Yes, he's, he's good to you good. All, the time, all the time, all the time. Gloria, we're talking about developing a strong spirit. Oh my. Developing a strong spirit. That makes all the difference. It does make all the difference. It makes all the difference to how we live, to how we see things, to how we receive from God, to how we resist sin. I mean, it just affects everything. And the stronger you are, you can really tell an individual who's strong in the Lord. I mean, they won't, they won't take any guff off the devil at all. No. They, they don't won't deviate either. They just stay right. They'll on stay the right, mark, right on the right faith word, on course. Stay in faith, believe in faith, believe in the word. So we're talking about how to develop a strong spirit. All of the notes that we have taught or our teaching on this broadcast are available right now. You can go to kcm.org and you'll find where to get the notes and you can download them. Gloria and I have had These over 420,000 downloads of the Look notes since we began 182 broadcasts ago. Hallelujah. So people are obviously interested in, in developing their lives in prosperity and other things as well. And so we started yesterday talking about this and our foundation scripture once again is Proverbs 18, 14. It's in the Amplified Translation and it says this, the strong spirit of a man will sustain him in bodily pain or trouble, Mm -hmm. but a weak and broken spirit, who can raise up and bear? Mm. So that should give us an incentive. Absolutely. To develop our spirit. a strong spirit. That's right. Then we're getting stronger and stronger all the time. A strong spirit is not moved by what it sees or hears on the news or the doctor says or somebody in the family says. A strong spirit, it's moved, but it's moved toward the Word. Yeah. If you hear bad news, yes. you don't just take it and start saying it and saying, oh, I'm, I don't know what we're going to do. No, you move you, you t- energetically. Yes. Go to the Word of God and say, this is what I believe. So you overcome it. A strong spirit will talk back to the television. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> you got to talk back to the television. I just think it would be a riot to sit there with Kenneth and watch the news. <laughs> it's, Kenneth doesn't watch the news. He doesn't watch the news. <laughs> He's smarter than that. Okay. Well, uh, occasionally might, but not as a habit. But I can just see him preaching, talking. Yeah, yeah. And he, he was talking to Terry and I one day about, you know, all these ads that come on TV about what, whatever kind of sickness oh, yeah. and disease and so forth. And he said, you need to learn how to speak back to the television oh, and absolutely. say, there's a healing for that. That's right. There's a healing for that. Amen. You know, uh, some of the things that have taken place around the world, and there have been horrendous things that have taken place around the world. And when we see things on the news about something going on over here, something going on over here, devastating things, we, we're getting to the place now, we point to the television and say, there's an awakening for God for that. Yeah. There's a move of the Holy yeah. Spirit. There is the glory of the Lord, the outpouring of the glory for that place in that nation. Amen. And so that's just representative instead of sitting there and getting into fear and thinking, when's that going to hit us? When, that's, when is that going yeah. to touch us? The strong spirit of a man will ra- rise up and declare his rights in yeah. Christ Jesus. I, and you know, <laughs> this is what we do. When the news gives a bad report, mm-hmm. it could be about financial things. It right. could be about uh, an epidemic. We, we say we talk back to it. We say, it's not coming here. We're not going right. to have that. That's right. We're not having sickness and disease. We've been redeemed. Now, you've got to have something to say. <clears throat> you've got to have something to say about that. And you only get that from the Word of God. Yeah. But, but once you get it, it just comes right out. Yeah, that, <laughs> word has to be, that Word has to be down on the inside of us to such a degree. You have to degree, download it. Download it <laughs> to when the pressure is yeah. on the only thing, when the, I say it like this, 
When the devil puts the squeeze on you, yeah. the only thing that comes out is the Word of That's God. That's good, George. I like that. <laughs> that's, the, that's George, Proverbs of George. The Proverbs right of George. Okay. So that's what we do. And on this broadcast today, and what we're doing in these two weeks, Gloria, you and I are just, we're in training. We're we exercising are. our we faith muscles. Amen. We are helping you train up in these things so that you know how to be strong in the Lord and in the power of His might and that you don't get run over by the devil. That's right. But you get strong enough. And really the whole purpose of having a strong spirit and developing a strong spiritual life is to be able to reach out and minister to others. That's right. A person who does not have a strong spirit, who's weak, weakened in their spirit, they're not going to be able to help somebody else. No. Somebody will come to them and say, you got to pray for me. They've given me a bad report. And a weak spirit will say, well, what did they say? What did they tell you? And oh, that's awful. That's I'm terrible. Oh my God, you're going to die. But a strong spirit will rise up, up and over. And say, I believe. This is what I believe. This is what I believe. This is where I stand. And I believe the Word of God. This, this, this is the Word of God. Amen. So today, Gloria, That's on the good. broadcast, what we're going to do, today's topic is seven benefits of a strong spirit. Ooh, I like This is it. why. These are, the, these are seven reasons why we need to get strong in Him. Amen. So let's take a look at this. We'll start with the first one here. A strong spirit will get you through anything. That's right. Now that came, that came from Keith Moore. He's the, he's the one who originally taught this that I had learned from him about. And that phrase just resonates mm -hmm. in my spirit. A strong spirit will get you through anything. And again, it goes along with our foundation of scripture. Strong spirit of a man will sustain him yes, that's right. in bodily pain or trouble. Lift him up over that. A but... What's the other side of that? Oh, but the other side of it is that a weak and broken spirit, who can raise up and bear? Now, who has control over whether I'm a strong spirit or a weak spirit? That has to be me. That has to be us. We, we, you we and I are and George are, control, are in control over our spirit. Now, how do you get a strong spirit? By meditating and going to the Word, That's putting right. it in your eyes and your ears. Mm -hmm. and that Keep Word that stirs word. up faith in your heart, and then you say faith instead of unbelief and sickness and yep. poverty. Terry and I listen to the Word of God every night That's when we're good. going to sleep. That's excellent. We listen. Now, I, li I listen to Brother Copeland by day and I listen to Brother Hagen by night. Well, you Brother can't Hagen, beat that. <laughs> I tried listening to Kenneth and I can't, I can't get to sleep oh. <laughs> because it's so... But then Brother Hagen, especially in the day services that he used to have, he can just, he can talk and it's just going down in it and it just lulls oh, me to sleep. Strong. It's magnificent, but we keep Change the word going. Lives. Keep the word going. Yeah, all, keep the word going all the time. All the time. Faith comes by, by feeding on the word right. of God. So a strong spirit will cause us to overcome physical attacks, mm -hmm. financial problems, relational, marital difficulties, job, ministerial setbacks, emotional challenge, everything that the devil throws our way. And look at the scripture here in, in point three, uh, Proverbs 24, 10. Oh, yeah. If you faint in the day of adversity, your strength is small. We can't faint. We can't faint. We can't afford to nope. faint. If you fail, the New Living Tra Translation, if you fail under pressure, your strength is too small. Too small. But <laughs> that's good. If we if we stand firm, and we succeed under pressure, that's an indicator. That's right. That our spirit is strong. So that's one reason we got to get strong. Is strong spirit will get us, will overcome everything. And you don't wait until trouble comes and say, "Oh, let me get my Bible and no, strengthen my spirit." No, 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 no. No, this is a place where you live. <clears throat> no. If you want to succeed at this, you you do this. 24-7. I know that you and Kenneth do this. Terry and I do this. We're in constant training. Yes, we We're are. constantly feeding on the Word. We're Absolutely. constantly talking about the Word. As I've told you before on the broadcast, first thing we do when we get up in the morning is we declare the Word. Oh, I mean, man, right, that's good. right before anything else, good mornings, brush teeth, whatever, we just, we that's hit great. it. And we declare the Word of God. And we say things like, we are expecting our greatest blessing ever today because great grace is upon us all. We have oh, victory over death and the manifestation of the love of God. We that's declare good. the glory of the Lord over our lives, our church, our ministry. We believe for the manifested presence of God, the manifested goodness of God, the manifested power of God in our lives. We walk in the supernatural, supernatural health 
wealth, supernatural yeah. wealth, supernatural protection. I mean, we just go, go for it. We go on and on. And every time we do it, we get a little stronger and a little stronger. Put, your, and a little uh, stronger. put that on the website. For I people. need to do that, Gloria. It has really, on the website. I mean, we just confess and declare the word. Yes, amen. This next one. A strong spirit will help you receive from God. Gloria, one of the reasons people are not receiving is they're not strong enough to receive. I remember watching Brother Hagin one time um, in a, a service that he conducted. And in the service, he was talking about the development of our faith. And he was talking about why people, why people don't receive their healing and why they don't hang on to their healing once they're prayed for. And he was talking about the early days of the healing, mm -hmm. uh, the, the healing uh, revival in the 40s and 50s. And he knew some people that would go to these meetings, have hands laid on yeah. them, and then two weeks later, whatever it was, came back. They weren't strong enough to hold on to it. That's right. And some people are not strong enough to you take it. You have to have it. faith to hold on to That's it. That's right. So it's, it's faith and healing I know, that uh, gives victory. You know, Keith Moore is very prolific at healing and exactly. in the healing ministry. He's done it Actually, for years. Actually, he's prolific in just everything. about everything I've heard <laughs> everything. him do. Everything. Yeah. And he was telling a story about how he, this woman that was dying of cancer, he, he went over to pray for her and just kept feeding the Word and feeding the Word and feeding the Word. And it began to turn, that situation began to turn and just kept the pressure on the devil and on the situation with the Word of God. And so the stronger our spirit is, and, and I, I believe what we're saying here, Gloria, is that we don't, we, we can develop ourselves to a place because God wants us to receive everything that That's He has. Right. So the stronger our spirit is, the more we can accomplish, the more we can receive. Right. And I'll quote Keith Moore here. He says, you can't catch much with a Snoopy fishing pole. A Snoopy. Oh, Snoopy, yeah. <laughs> a little Snoopy fishing pole. You know, one of those really mm -hmm. short ones that you buy for little kids. Yeah. You can't go out there and catch some huge marlin in the deep sea. No. You can't do that. The stronger the pole and the line, the stronger, the bigger the fish you'll catch. Right. So he said, the stronger your spirit is, the easier it is to receive. And you keep that by imparting the imparting word. Imparting the word. In your eyes and your ears. <laughs> and letting it come out your mouth and exactly. nothing else. Exactly. Gloria, look at point C on your page. A strong spirit will help you hold on to what you receive. That's right. Like I was saying a moment ago, that, that when hands are laid on, on you for healing, you receive your healing. The more you develop your spirit, the easier it is to hold on to that healing. Yeah. You're not gonna let the devil get anywhere in there. And at the first sign of any kind of a symptom, a strong spirit is going to say, no, that's right, devil. No, no. By his stripes, I am healed. There is, I mean, you look at me right now and there's an intensity about me. You know what that is? That's a reflection of my spirit. That's right. That's what's going on in the inside. That we had, we had a service last night, last night, Wednesday night service. It was a pretty intense service. Praise God. We had manifestations of the gifts of the Spirit at the end of the service. And I, I, I came out of there <laughs> with chewing nails and... You were ready. <laughs> well, that's the reflection of what's mm -hmm. going on on the inside. And so you'll be able to hold on to what you receive from God the stronger your spirit That's is. Right. Galatians 6, 9 amplified, let us not lose heart and grow weary and faint in acting nobly and doing right. For in due time and at the appointed season, we shall reap if we do not loosen and relax our courage and faint. So the way to live in victory is to maintain mm. a strong spirit mm -hmm. with the word going in your eyes, yep. in your ears. Yep. We don't wait to... From, People shouldn't even wait from Sunday to Sunday to get the Word. That's right. Much less from, you know, revival to revival. Yeah. We maintain with daily Word daily. a strong spirit. That's the key. Amen. Daily. Mm -hmm. Daily. You know, on the last day of our broadcast next week, we'll talk about seven habits of strong believers. Good. Oh, that and, sounds great. And, and one of the first, I think the first one is they read their Bibles daily. A daily, a daily regimen. 
And that's what it is. It's a daily spiritual yeah, regimen. Really there are things that I do every day in my daily regimen to stay strong. Me too. Things that you do every day, things that Kenneth does, Terry does, things that we have to do to stay strong so don't, we don't lose what we've received. And we are the ones responsible for the development of our faith and just not lay that's back right. and let the devil run over you. So if you go to page two there, Gloria, we'll, we'll, uh, the second page of your notes, <clears throat> at the top of the page in Hebrews 10, 23, let us hold fast the profession of our faith without hold fast. wavering. Hold fast. Don't be wimpy. Hold mm -mm. fast. Don't be wimpy. I like that. Don't be wimp. Don't be a wimpy believer. No. I don't. Well, that's kind of an oxymoron because wimpy, wimpy. and believer doesn't go together. So don't be wimpy. That's right. But get strong in the Lord. I mean, don't take, waver. take your dominion, take your authority. I would say, Gloria, being here, I started listening to Brother Copeland's tapes, tapes in 1976. Yeah, he sent me to, we had met, I, I had proposed to Terry and then talked to him. Mm -hmm. Wrong way, but... But when I sat down and talked with well, him, you he, were just starting. I was okay. just starting out, and I was I was anxious to get going, I guess. But <laughs> uh, but he he and I sat down together and had a conversation out there at the Lake Arlington office yeah. during the Christmas break. He said, "George, what do you want to be? What is your goal in life?" I said, "I want to be a man of God." I think he liked that. Oh yeah, that was the right answer. <clears throat> that was the right answer. And he said, George, I'm gonna send you my Bible course. He sent me every tape, every tape. Tape, literally. Three tape. huge boxes made it to ORU. They said, come down to the post Not office, cassettes, get your boxes. They were real, real. They were, no, well, they were cassettes were they? by that time. Okay. And it was funny, because I was talking to your brother Richard and he was working in the uh, distribution room at that time. And he was the one that put together my tapes. No, he, small world. He pulled all the series down. He said, who in the world is this guy? That was a good investment. That Brother Copeland is sending those tapes. But you know what, Gloria, when I got those tapes, I listened to them, I devoured them, I inhaled them, and I have not stopped yeah. since 1976. And what was the result? Victory. I, victory. In every area. A world, a world overcomer. Overcoming. You're looking yes. at a world overcomer champion. Two Hallelujah. champions here. Glory to God. But there is a God side to this and there's a man side. Mm -hmm. And the God side is, I'm gonna provide you with everything you need. The man side is, side is that you take what he has given That's us right. and you put it into use. In the military, they give you a weapon. Well, at some point, you're gonna to have to shoot that weapon. Yeah. You can't stand there looking down your, the, the nose of your enemy and stand there holding a weapon and not do anything. That's right. And that's been the problem with the body of Christ. I am waxing bold and strong, bold and strong right now. Well, that's, the scripture says this is the victory that overcomes yes. the world, even, even our, our faith. faith. So we've got to know by that, that we must strengthen our faith, grow in faith, keep it strong, it. don't quit. And we know that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Yep. So there's no excuse for us not to no, be strong. There is no excuse. None. And I, I believe that's the thing that you and Kenneth have taught me really the most over these years is to, to take this word, stand on it, act on it, believe it. That's why we take people from the milk of the word into the meat of the word so they can do this very thing. People are struggling out there and they don't know what to do and they're having a hard time and they don't realize that their spirit man is, is that emaciated he spirit. Be, he has to be fed with the word. He's got to be fed. Strong. Got to be fed. Glory and I have, I have just about run our time out. Let me read you a couple okay. of things if I can, Glory, in the last few minutes. A strong spirit will help you resist the devil in temptation. That's right. This Ezekiel 16, 30. How weak is your heart, saith the Lord God, seeing you're doing these things. Well, now I'm not familiar with Isn't that Isn't that an interesting Where scripture? That? That's, that's point D, D, number one. Ezekiel 16, 30. How that's weak excellent. is your heart, saith the Lord, seeing that you're doing these things. Well, a strong spirit will help you resist the devil. It says in Ephesians 6, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might that you may be able to what? Stand against yeah, the wiles yeah, of the devil. Yeah. The Read Amplified. those scriptures with the <clears throat> Hebrews 10, 23. That, let us hold of, fast uh -huh. to the profession of our faith. Keep without, possession of. Keep possession of it without wavering. A strong believer doesn't waver. Let us seize. Let us seize, seize it. Let's hold take fast hold of it without and wavering. Retain without wavering. That's that says right. it all, doesn't it? Another That's one. Amplified. That's good. Another one says a strong spirit will help you 
help others. Romans 15, 1. We that are strong ought to bear the infirmities of the weak. Yes. A strong spirit will help you withstand impact and pressure. And the example that I use is skyscrapers in San Francisco that are designed to absorb the shock. Well, our spirit man can come to such a place that we can absorb whatever shock the devil tries That's to put right. into our life and we just stand there and stare him down mm -hmm. because he cannot control us. He cannot move us. And a, Amen. a strong spirit will build a protective barrier around your heart. Sickness oh, can't good. penetrate it. Discouragement can't sway it. Fear can't stop it. Offense can't enter into it. And we become like the person in the 112th Psalm. Surely he shall not be moved forever. He shall not be afraid oh, of evil hallelujah. tidings. My heart is fit. And this is one of the things that I confess, Gloria. My heart is, My fixed, heart is fixed, trusting in the Lord. Mm -hmm. My heart is established. Right. So those are some excellent, of excellent. the benefits of, and you know, we didn't get to go through all of the scriptures. I just talked on some, but I'm telling the anointing is here right now. Amen. The anointing is here and you get the notes and all the scriptures that we didn't cover are on the notes, but I have an unction to pray for them okay, right now. Ahead. May I do that? Yes, you may. Father, in Jesus name, Thank we you, pray Lord. over every mm, believer everyone. that's watching us right now. And I say in Jesus yes. name, you are strong and you're getting you stronger. Are strong and you getting take hold stronger. of the word of God. You confess the Word of God. You meditate the Word of God. You act on the Word of God. And you grow up. Grow up in Him. And you and overcome the world. You overcome the world. Yes. Overcome the world and everything in it with your faith. That's Let your right. faith get stronger and stronger because faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Word of God. And you say this after Thank me. You, you say in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I am strong in the Lord. I am strong in the Lord. And in the power of His might. And in the power of His might. And I'm getting stronger every and day. I'm getting stronger every day. Let the weak say. Let the weak say. I am strong. I am strong. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yay. Praise God. Strong Praise spirit. God. That's where we're at, Gloria. Glory. That's where we're at, and we're getting stronger. And, and we and know how to maintain a strong spirit. Yes, we do. The word going in our eyes, in our ears, yep. and coming out our mouth. Come on. It's got to be applied to the situation. Yes, you yes. You can't just keep it in there. It's got to come out, and it'll change things. It'll get change you out of debt. It'll bring you health when you when you don't when the doctors say there's no hope, faith's always there, and it's the, a done deal when you act on it. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen, sister. I'm so glad <laughs> for faith. Uh, George and I'll be right back. We hope you enjoyed this teaching from Kenneth Copeland Ministries. Download the notes at kcm.org/notes.